Hey, this is Nick with RailLife.com and we're standing here just south of Chase Field and pretty much everybody knows that Diamondback fans are huge fans of the light rail. But another good friend of mine is Yuri Artebis and Yuri does some really cool stuff downtown and today we're talking about Jane's Walk. We're just south of the ballpark, we're on Grant Street and what are we doing next weekend, Yuri? Next weekend, May 1st, Saturday, we are doing uh, the second annual Jane's Walk Phoenix. Jane's Walk is an international event now that's held in 50 plus cities around the world to honor and commemorate Jane Jacobs, who was uh, kind of mother of grassroots urbanism in the United States. And she really promoted walkable neighborhoods and walkable and authentic communities. Um, so this year we're going to feature the Warehouse District. As Nick said, we're less than two blocks away from Chase Field where tens of thousands of fans congregate several times a week. But here there's very few people, very few people know about it. So and there's some amazing buildings. We're, work, we're standing in front of uh, 602, uh, 602 East Grand Street. That's the home of Levine Machine, Michael Levine. He's a developer and a property owner down in the Warehouse District. Who, who's done a great job in restoring and renovating many of these warehouses. Um, so we're going to see a few of his warehouses, a few other properties, and we're going to share stories and ideas of what can be down, down and around the warehouse district to, uh, to promote it and to have kind of really cool places to hang out and live, work, and play downtown. Hey, thanks a lot, man. We really look forward to Jane's Walk and kind of watch this blog for any updates, but we'll certainly have a link in this post to the official Jane's Walk website that Yuri's a big part of. And hey man, we really thank you for rocking the rail life. No problem.